It's that one magical night of the year again, when it's deemed socially acceptable to go door-to-door -door taking candy from strangers. Only this year, I decided to kick back and let the candy come to me. Hiya, Carl! I'm back! Right on schedule. Oh, boy! Just look at this sugary bounty! Dig in, me hearty! Uh, mm. Candy's all that much sweeter when you don't have to work for it. <laughs> Arr. Whoa! Easy, C2. Please, Carl, just one more little fistful. Uh-uh. You have to pace yourself. Too much sugar before bed can be a scary thing. Promise me, you won't eat any more of this candy tonight. Okay, I promise. But I don't see how anything so sweet could ever be scary. Trust me, C2. I speak from years of experience. Huh? Okay, Carl. <laughs> I promised I wouldn't eat that candy, so it's a good thing I had a backup supply. <laughs> ah, this is gonna be a night to remember. Here you go, Carl. One morning loaf, heavy on the raisins, just how you like it. Thanks, Daddy. But I don't think I could eat another bite. <laughs> Been dipping in that candy stash, huh? Please don't say that word ever. What word? Candy? <laughs> That's the one. You should know better than to eat so much sugar right before bed. Yeah, Carl told me the same thing. Oops, I, I, I mean, you know, my inner Carl. That voice in my head that tells me what to do. You hear voices in your head? Interesting. I'd like to hear more about this. Yeah, now you've done it. Oh, say by the bell. Hey! Did somebody order a giant possessed crate? Because I know it wasn't me. Carl? I've always imagined you in a box, only it was more coffin shaped and covered with dirt. Hey, babe. You're kind of cute. Ew! Ooh, this is awkward. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <gasps> ah! Mother! Come quick! There's <laughs> two of them now! It's horrible! Hey, you buddy. Ah! <laughs> C2, what's with all the racket? Clone Carl! Clone Carl coming! Cl Chloe saw Clone Carl coming! What? Slow down, C2. What are you talking about? Carl? Honey? Aha! What? Hey, you buddy. Huh? You must be the original Carl Crashman. <laughs> Good to meet you. Cool digs you got here. Nice family. Yup. I think I'm really gonna like it here. <laughs> Uh, Carl? Huh? Mom, Dad. I demand to know what's going on here. It's it's hard, hard to, to explain. explain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. Geek squared. This just keeps getting worse. Uh, uh, a, a while back, I ordered a clone off the internet. A clone? Off the internet? You can do that now? Uh, apparently. Give me a minute to get dressed, and I'll come down and explain everything. <laughs> you see that you do, young man. Or, y y young men, or you know what I mean. <sighs> now you're multiplying? <clears throat> what are you doing here? I didn't order another clone. Funny story, I'm actually the clone you were supposed to get in the first place, but there was a mix-up and they sent this outmoded version by mistake. <gasps> you mean I'm a, a, a... A reject. An inferior copy, a defective mass of biomaterial, a complete and utter waste of DNA. But hey, I'm sure you're a nice guy. I don't believe it. 
you know, it does kind of make sense. <laughs> I bet this new version doesn't have any doggy DNA mixed up in its genetic soup. Nope, that's the first thing they fixed. I'm 100% Carl. Only better. Except no substitutions. Whoa! This is awesome! From now on, you'll be known as C3. Hmm. It's got a nice ring to it. Huh? Oh my! Nice pooch. He'd be even nicer if he wasn't in my face. Oh, sorry. Rexy gets nervous around new people. You'll have lots of time to bond with him later. Yeah, that's gonna happen. So, Carl, ready to go face the music? Yeah, might as well get it over with. Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mom and Dad only know about one clone. One of you needs to stay up here and hide. <sighs> I'll do it. That a boy. Way to take one for the team. Well, this will take some getting used to, but I suppose having a clone in the house could have a positive impact. Mm. But you'll have to split your allowance. No, no problem. problem. All right, Carl. You can keep your clone, but only if you promise never, ever to have yourself cloned again. Your mother's right. One clone is manageable, but two clones? Now that would just be ridiculous. No problem. One clone is more than enough. Right, Carl? You said it, Carl. clones and you could be your own basketball team. Mm, no thanks, Jamie. My hands are full with two. Psst, Carl, can I have a turn now? Not yet, C2. C3 is just starting to get the hang of it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Nice moves. Not even C2 can pull that one off. What do you expect from a level one prototype? <sighs> I'm bored. Let's blow this pop stand. Sure. Wait! I didn't get a turn yet! Uh, Carl? C3? Guys? <laughs> Yo, don't worry, clone boy. Carl just likes C3 because he's all new and shiny. He'll come around. Yeah, I hope you're right. Mm. Hands off the brownie! The brat! I was saving that! <gasps> You pay for that! Careful, sis. Brownies aren't the only things I can make disappear. Whatever. Just stay out of my way. Ah, this is the life. With two clones, I can slack my way onto Easy Street. Carl, I have a really bad feeling about C3. I think he just threatened Chloe. And that's bad how? Look, I gotta go meet Sky for a study session, if you know what I mean. So try to make nice with C3 while I'm gone, will ya? Oh, and uh, if Jamie calls, tell him I've been looking for him. It's like he just dropped off the face of the earth or something. Rex, where are you, buddy? Oh, Rexy. Oh, Carl's finally gone, huh? Man, I thought he'd never leave. What a dork. Can you believe he's the original and we're the copies? I don't know what you mean. Carl's super nice. Yeah, you would think so. That's just the defects talking. Oh, you're not supposed to touch that when Carl's not here. Those are your rules, not mine. Are you up? What's the matter, Mommy? Chloe didn't come down for breakfast. Hmm. She must have gone to school early. Gee, that doesn't sound like our Chloe now, does it? <laughs> Carl! Uh, both Rex and Jamie are missing. And now Chloe's gone, too. You're getting paranoid, C2. No, Carl. Something strange is going on here. And I think C3 is behind it. Come on, clone boy. You've been on his back since the moment he got here. I'm starting to think you're jealous of him. I am not! Ah, come on, come on. 
What's wrong? My password isn't working. Hmm. I saw C2 messing around with your computer earlier. What? That's not true! It was C3 that did it! I even told him not to! Here, let me just override the previous command, and there you go. Hey, cool. You'll have to show me how to do that. Oh, I got an email from Sky. She wants me to meet her right now at her place. Later, clones! Oh, and C2, stay away from the computer. C3 shouldn't have to be fixing your mistakes. Hey, Sky. It's Carl. <gasps> what are you doing? I was thinking, maybe we should meet at the skate park instead. Great. Can't wait. I am so telling Carl on you. Go ahead. Like he's gonna believe you over me. Later, bud. I've got a date I can't be late for. <laughs> Three called Sky and, and, and pretending to be you. They're meeting at the skate park. What are you talking about? Let's go! Hmm. See, I told you you were being paranoid. Sky's probably back at her place wondering where I am. But, but Carl! Uh, the, you better start getting along with C3C2, or I may have to rethink having two clones around the house. That's the last straw, C3. Messing with Carl is one thing, but nobody messes with... Huh? Hey! Who are you guys? Where are you taking me? Carl no longer needs you. We're taking you back to the lab where you were created. Ooh, that could be fun. So we can dissect you and figure out what went wrong. <laughs> One detective mm. to solve the case. Yes! In the land of Once Upon a Time. Sandra Ochia Parody, fairy tale detective. That hypnotized green thing is my assistant, Bo. Cinderella, I have a plan. We must all stand our ground. You're not going to get away with this. Case solved. Sandra, the fairy tale detective, here on Cubo. <laughs> What's happening? We need to run a few tests. Don't worry, it will be painless. Oh, I was wrong. The tests will in fact be excruciatingly painful. My mistake. <laughs> Let's begin, shall we? Any last words? Just a question. What are we doing in my school science lab? Oh, you didn't know? This is where you were created. <laughs> Goodbye, Carl. I'll miss you. You're not going anywhere, clone boy. Not if I can help it. Oh, Carl! Let's go. <laughs> How'd you find me? When I got back to Skye's house, her mom told me she'd already left to meet me at the park. You were right. I got back just in time to see you get dragged into that van. I knew you'd believe me. We better split up. They'll be coming after us. C2. Huh? Lorna. What are you doing Quick, here? Quick, this leads to the basement. You'll be safe there. <laughs> This doesn't feel very safe to me, Lorna. But wait, you called me C2. B -b but how did you know? I told her. <gasps> C3! You were pretending to be Carl? But then, why did you save me? They were gonna dissect you. I couldn't let that happen. Huh, really? If anyone is gonna dissect you, it'll be me. After I'm finished messing with you. <laughs> Not you too, Lorna! Why? I just wanted a Carl. It doesn't matter which one. And C3 promised to get rid of Sky. So we could be together forever. Bye, C2. Nice knowing ya. <laughs> uh. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my goodness. <gasps> I knew it. I knew C3 was up to something. Ouch. Hi, everyone. Much as I enjoy the blood rushing to my head, you are so dead! Ooh, you'll pay for this! Oh, yo, behind you, homie! <laughs> huh? Aw, it's one of Mr. Agar's robot babies. Hi, robot baby! <laughs> That's weird. I seem to remember you being a little more adorable and a little less evil. <laughs> Oh, look! You brought your friends! Yo, Doc, if you don't want to be torn to pieces by a million chubby little metal hands, you better run! Control! <laughs> and there you go! <clears throat> uh, huh? <laughs> Much better. <laughs> You'll have to hold it. We've still got work to do. Yay! We're free! Come, my robot babies! Follow me! You've left us no choice. Destroy the clone! Turn, clone. You just made a very big mistake, science guys. Robot babies, assemble! <laughs> it's huge, yet so adorable. <laughs> Yay! Woohoo! All right! <laughs> Hi, Mr. Agar. Carl Crashman, that is school property you're playing with. I'll see to it you get a month of detention for. Oh! Sorry, Mr. Agar! I just hope we're not too late to save Carl. So, the defective clone returns. Bravo. Where's Carl, C3? Let's just say he never made it back to Sky's house. <laughs> huh? Don't you get it? There can only be one Carl, and I'm him. <laughs> <laughs> Execute Pokey Pokey Maneuver! Left arm in! <laughs> Didn't hurt a bit. And that's what it's all about! <laughs> hey! C2! <gasps> Carl! 
you think this is over? It's only just begun. <laughs> Carl? <gasps> no! Huh? Carl! Huh? What's wrong, C2? <gasps> Clones! Hundreds of them! And C3! And then the robot babies! And, and then Lorna was evil! It, it was horrible, Carl! Horrible! Relax, buddy. It was just a nightmare. None of it was real. Except possibly the part about Lorna being evil. <laughs> oh, I think I need some fresh air. C2, you okay in here? Hiya, Carl. <laughs> just a bad dream. Hmm. Yeah, big surprise there. I warned you about eating candy before bed. Oh. Ha! You missed one. Hey, trust me. You'll thank me later. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, I doubt that. One morning, Loaf, coming up. <laughs> Wait, is this made of all natural ingredients? I think so. No juggy bears, sour tarts, choco balls, or nutty buddies? Pretty sure. <sighs> Brother Vigor, there was someone at the door for you. Oh, goody. Was it Jamie or Skye? I missed them so much. It was a delivery man dropping off a package. Huh? No! Ugh. Okay. Whatever. Here, I forged your signature. Hope you don't mind. Oh, boy. Thanks. Blog dogs, if you want to know more about me and my clone, check out Carl's website anytime. <laughs> <laughs>